conversation with Warners about Harry Potter. Tell me, tell me about this. Oh, yeah, no, that's painful. Um, they, uh, I helped the producer, David Heyman, just on a just general advice, really, in setting up the first one. And then he kept saying to me, well, why don't you do it? And I said, it's not really my thing. And I had been sent a book previously, which I really, truly didn't get. And uh, a lot of people didn't, you know. And then finally, when the second book came out, it started to be a phenomenon, and therefore you thought differently about it. And so they sent me the screenplay, the first screenplay written by Steve Clovis, a very good writer. And uh, I thought, you know, Robert Stigwood, uh, Robert De Niro used to say to me, he never would say yes to doing anything. He always used to say, I have a mind to do it, mm. which means, which gets you off the hook if you end up not doing it. So I said, all right, I'll do it. So they said, well, will you have a um, conference call with Warner Brothers um, uh, tomorrow? I said, okay. And uh, it was 10 o'clock at night, and I picked up the phone in my kitchen in London. And they said, Alan, it's the producer, and Alan is the head of production. And then they said, I thought it was just two people that I was going to talk to. And then they said, uh, no, it's uh, Alan Horn, the chairman of the company. And it was 10 people. 10 people at the in, in Burbank, in Los Angeles. And then me in my kitchen. <laughs> and they said, uh, this is for the very first Harry Potter. So they said to me, um, well, go ahead, Alan. And I said, what do you mean, go ahead? They said, uh, well, how do you see it? I said, I have no idea. I haven't even thought about it. I said, I read the script once. Do you want me to do it? And they said, well, a lot of people want to do this film. I said, well, ask them then. And they, <laughs> they, they put the phone down on me. <laughs> and, uh, which was really smart of me, because it actually made $10 billion. So. But when you went subsequently to see Harry Potter, if indeed you did, do you think I mean, your vision would have been... Di I mean, everybody's vision is different, but I mean, there's so many people involved in a film like that. Well, funny enough, I went to Leavesden, the studios that, that Warner Brothers have bought, and they've got, they have this fantastic exhibition of Harry Potter. It's like a Disney thing, you know, Disneyland thing. It's so wonderful. And I walked around it, and I felt, interestingly, that uh, it's so brilliantly done, because it's had loads of different directors, but it's really the, it's the fantastic work of mm. the production designer, Stuart Craig. Mm. He's, 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 it's, the he's the auteur, mm. not the directors. And uh, I looked at all this stuff, and it is fantastic and wonderful. And I felt, as a creative person, I felt almost, I didn't get it. I didn't see it. Mm. I didn't see the brilliance that Stuart Craig had seen. Mm. Even the dopey Warner Brothers executives had seen, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, Any I Warner Brothers executives here? No, no.